Right out of the gate, Nino Niederreiter extending for three seasons. Nino Niederreiter went to the slot, he banged that in at the pick nine. At this game, it's time at two. Real Bellamy's first goal of the season. Goes off the stick right into the center. Well, the month of December was frankly tremendous, probably best described by associate coach Scott Arneal, who said there's no way to play on the road, there's no certain way to play at home, just the right way to play. And the Winnipeg Jets did that through the entire month of December. They played the right way, and I think the numbers speak for themselves. I literally can't breathe. What a game here tonight. This is one of the games you earmark for your season where you refer to it and you say, remember when? I think most guys would tell you it's harder mentally than it is uh, physically. I kind of just stick with it and know you're, you're doing the right things and, and trust the process and know that it's going to be worth it when you come back. I think playing with confidence is something that most guys will tell you, you know, it's, it's huge, it's very important and I think there's also stretches where things go your way and things just don't go your way. And then we get ready for the LA Kings tonight. A little Gabriel Velarde revenge game potentially. Second of three meetings this year between the Jets and the LA Kings. Velarde gives it to him. Nick Lieber's with a shot and he scores! Outlet B. Velarde on to Nikolai Ehlers. Rips and scores! A magnificent finish from Nikolai Ehlers on the backhand, and Winnipeg leads it for the first time. For me personally, a reminder, like, hey, I can, I can be a dominant player in this league. And Velarde shoots and scores! Unbelievable homecoming for Gabe Velarde. First four-point game of his career, and no better time to do it than in Southern California. All right, boys. That felt amazing. Yeah. When we talk about measuring stick games, yes, this is one for the Jets. It's one for the Bruins as well. This Jets team is legit. Just why don't you recap it for the viewers? Wow, a 5 a.m. wake up call to start. They're they're coming off a Christmas break. The routine is thrown right out the window. Yeah, nothing you can do about the schedule part of it. So you just have to come prepared. And you know we have you know, what 40 minutes skate right now, and right back at it. Uh, get a nice lunch and nap, and ready to go back at it. in white, Hawks in red, Jets flying from our broadcast left to right, teams come to center ice, puck is dropped, and it's showtime from Chicago, Illinois. Oh, the big will storm back, here's Morgan Barron moves in, shoots and scores! And Winnipeg is tied it at one, with 16-13 remaining in the second. Some speed through the neutral lights. 2.50 to go in overtime. Across the line, right down Main Street, shoots and scores. Well, I was like a lot of credit. He was outstanding tonight. We had 182 shot attempts. So uh, 
we created the right chance to win the hockey, as simple as that. What makes a good rivalry? We always talk about the Wild and the Jets having a great rivalry. I mean, from your experience, what, what makes a good rivalry? It usually comes from the playoffs, you know, that's where it usually starts. Last year, our last game against them, to us to get in the playoffs, uh, the fights, the physicality, all the stuff that went on, it uh, sort of built itself towards this. And anytime I think you have two rivals playing back to back, your stuff is going to happen. And oh, thank you. You wake up for that game day with a little bit more uh, juice kind of thing, you know, you got to be excited and there's more uh, fire on the ice, you know, guys are running around a little bit more than, than normal. Go low, go low, go low, go low! Oh, good try. Hey, buddy. Outnumber the Minnesota Wild. There's three of them there. It's now grabbed again by Lowry. Twisted back out and finished. Yeah. Stop rebounding. Stop. Yeah. Oh, the Bubs. Winnipeg did a number of good things in that first period that they could certainly build on. They really didn't give up a whole lot in their defensive end either. Throughout the entire 200 feet, Winnipeg definitely the better team in that first 20 minutes. Come on, Tori. It takes a pretty good whack on the back. Winnipeg improves to 21, 9, and 4. Minnesota will drop to 16, 14, and 4, and their four-game win streak comes to an end. Make sure we come back in tomorrow's same aggressive mindset. Okay? Good job, Dan. As soon as we get on the plane, especially on those ones on the back-to-back, because -back, uh, we gotta we look at that game that we just played, take some stuff out of, out of that, whether that's specialty teams, whether that's maybe D-zone coverage. Try to get as much as a, of that done as quick as possible that night, because the next morning I'll get up and kind of finalize it. at Excel Energy Center in St. Paul, Minnesota today for the second of four meetings between the Winnipeg Jets and the Minnesota Wild. And the Jets got off to a good start yesterday, led it two to nothing, and were able to skate away with the 4-2 victory. Up the gut, our captain, number 17, Adam Lowry. Oh, great. On the back end, right side, number 88, right of Minnesota, Nate Schmidt. Oh, giant. Ball touch. On the left side, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> And between the pipes, we got LB. Yeah. Yeah. You almost smile there, buddy. Almost. Too close. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Same thing as yesterday. Same thing. Fight right off the bat. We wondered would this happen. Things were chippy yesterday. Kirill Kaprizov is not playing today. He was roughed up a little bit. So this is obviously a carryover from what went on in Winnipeg. And this one's going on a long time. Come on, Lousy. Come on, Lousy. I got the low D. I got him. Right off the face off, Cole Perfetti took a stick to his face. It's, it's likely because he was hunched over after just taking the face off. So he headed to the Winnipeg Jets bench and has since gone down the tunnel. Hey, let's go, hey guys, we take this 
Thing over. Peter Ryder. It's Mason Appleton with a shot. That's blocked. Rebound. They score. And it's the captain Lowry. And we are tied at one. He can shoot that hard, eh? Holy Are you f***ing serious, bro? That was unbelievable. Cody, get us going the other way, man. Yep. Okay. Attaboy, Tony. There we go. Good job, boys. Attaboy, Dilly. Good job, guys. My, my body's so sore right now. The age of five years is part of the picture. My face is killing me because the freezing's wearing off. And my whole left side of my body, like from like the hip to my shoulder, is like, oh. Hanson shoots it, blocked by Tony Nato, and the Jets hang on, and they beat the Wild. They take the back to back. There we go, there we go. That boy, Vlad. Boy, Dilly. Boy, Bears. Boy, Bob. Three hard flat wing boys. That's one of a month. The best you get to come for this hockey team. We've got a great group in this um, they, they got off to a great start, and, you know, credit to them, but you know, we were able to, to fight our way back and you know, it was a, it was a big back-to-back uh, -back nights for us. 